So it's hot out here and I don't want to be drinking hot tea. What's up everybody, Eric here from Tea and Tobacco and today I'm going to show you the iced tea that I like to make the most and is definitely my favorite and I also don't have to use sugar in it. So let's get to it. So today I'm going to show you my easy way of how I like to make iced tea out of loose leaf tea and it's a relatively quick process so you don't have to like brew this overnight or cool it or anything like that. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I have a perfect tea maker right here. This is a 16 ounce tea maker. I have a 32 ounce mason jar which I have filled with ice. Uh, and then I, have, I just have hot water in this tumbler right here just to keep it warm so I didn't have to drag my kettle out here. And then I have um, seven and a half grams of Da Hong Pao. And this is Da Hong Pao. This is the uh, Supreme that I get from Dragon Tea House. You can get that at dragonteahouse.biz. It's about $50 for a pound. Uh, obviously you can get much less than that if you want to uh, just try it, but I buy this stuff by the pound because I drink so much of it because it's really good. So the process is actually very simple and when you're picking out a tea, you're gonna want something that you can brew the crap out of and it still tastes good. So that is why I'm using the Da Hong Pao. There's a lot of tea that just gets really bitter and bad. So in this case, I am using the Da Hong Pao because you can brew it for a very long time and it works out just fine. So really all I'm going to do, I'm going to take my seven and a half grams and you may have to play with the ratios a little bit if you're gonna be using different teas, but if you wanna try the Da Hong Pao, you can do that. And I am just going to brew this for about 10 minutes. I am going to be using boiling water in this case because you can brew this really hot and uh, it doesn't cause any bitter flavors or anything like that. Again, you're gonna have to adjust depending on what type of tea you're using, but I would suggest anything that you can brew for 10 minutes um, with boiling water and it turns out just fine. So I'm going to set this right here and we're going to let that brew for about 10 minutes. So I'll get back to you when that is done. All right, so simple enough now that this has been brewing for 10 minutes. Remember I did use seven and a half grams for this 16 ounce. Normally I'd only use about two and a half. So this is brewed a lot stronger than normal and I've also over brewed it. And I find that the 32 ounce uh, mason jar filled with ice is the perfect amount of ice to deal with the melting and still have a bit of ice left over and keeping it cool. Also, I tend to like to use uh, something like this, a uh, you know, thermos, this is, you know, uh, insulated and uh, double walled and vacuum sealed and all that good stuff. So it actually keeps it cold for a very long time, but it doesn't look very good on camera. So all I'm going to do is I am just going to pour my tea into my ice and you'll see that the ice definitely reduces quite a lot because I was using boiling water and it will finish up nicely. So this is basically my standard iced tea. This also I pair with pretty much all my cigars and tobacco as well. So when it's nice and warm and I want to sit out here and have some tea and a smoke and it's hot. I don't want hot tea. So this is what I make. So thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment, question, feedback down below. There's also all my social media down below and watch some more videos over there. And uh, I will see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you guys.